today I want to talk to you about several things that clients frequently ask me about. One is what to do about the bags that come in the shoe boxes when you buy the shoes. One thing you should not do is keep your shoes that you are currently wearing inside these shoe bags because you will forget that they're even there. The two reasons that I love the shoe bags are one, when I travel, I put my shoes in shoe bags. Most importantly, when I'm traveling back home, I put them back in the shoe bag before I tuck it into my suitcase because I don't want all the dirt from the city and the trip to come home with me. That's a very important use for this bag. The other one is when you are storing your shoes out of season, if you just throw them into a bin together, they're very likely to get scuffed up or smushed. So you can put them in the shoe bags that they came in originally and then tuck them in neatly to your bin to store them properly. The other thing that I want to talk to you about has to do with transitioning from one season to the other as well. Invariably, when I'm working with clients, we're going through their clothes and it's a big surprise to find out that there are holes in a sweater or a t-shirt. Somehow, moths have invaded. So, I went to a talk recently at the Metropolitan Costume Institute and they explained to us, first of all, that these are not the moths that we see outside. These are tiny little bugs that you really can't see with the naked eye. When you spot them in your clothes, you can either dry clean them to kill the bugs or you can take a dry cleaning bag, tie it up very tightly at the top and very tightly at the bottom and keep the garment in there for three weeks. After three weeks, that should be enough time for the little bugs to have been suffocated. Then you take it out of the plastic bag. Never store your clothes long term in plastic bags. The fabric can't breathe. It's very bad for them. That way though, you're ensuring that when you put the garment into a group of clothes, you're not putting the moths back into the clothes as well. So I hope that these tips have helped you and I look forward to our next time together. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Style That Binds Us, down below.